Today we're talking about the elements in your home in just a moment. Hey guys, I'm Mel from Mel's Divination, the owner, the operator, and the creator here. Today is Witchy Wednesday, and on Witchy Wednesdays, we do witchcraft-related content. Sometimes it is spiritual, sometimes it's metaphysical, sometimes it's divination, sometimes it's witchcraft. So check the channel out. There's over 400 videos in, a, in the library of videos that you can check out and learn and grow and share and we also do astrology on the weekends and we do flip through fridays feel free to join the community and we'd love to have you here you can find me at melsdivination.com it's always in the first link in the description box down below and that's where i offer readings and sessions and coaching and i have a blog on there as well we're going to get right into this because I'm actually very excited and I'm running out of daylight, so I really want to get this done for you guys. We're talking about the four elements, and most people know about it because we learned about it literally in elementary science. What are the four elements? Earth, air, fire, and water. What I actually want to talk about mostly today is making sure your home and your space and your room is in balance. I was inspired to talk about this because there was one of the books by Aaron Murphy Hiscock, and I don't remember which one it is because I actually own three of them. I've done all three reviews on this channel. Um, I have The Green Witch, I have The Protection Spell, and then I have The Self-Care Book. She has more, but I love her as an author and just like as a great um, background and different approaches to things. They're very manageable, and I love that about her. So I do believe, I do know, I got this concept from her, one of her books. I'm just not sure which one it is. I'll link all three books down below in the description box if you want to check them out. Earth is the element associated with stability, grounding, and security. Air is the element associated with communication, intellect, and creativity. Fire is the element associated with passion, energy, and drive. And water is the element associated with emotions, intu intuition, intuitive abilities, and healing. When these four elements are balanced, we feel happy, we feel healthy, we feel productive, we feel grounded. But if one or more of the elements is out of balance, we can start to feel stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed in one of those areas. For example, if you have too much fire in a room, you may end up getting into more arguments because the fire element is overpowering things. Maybe you have too much water and things tend to be a little bit overly sad. Things of that nature. This is a concept that can be applied to your room and your home. It doesn't have, it can be one, it can be the other, it can be all, okay? Whatever space you have because everybody has something different going on. What this is, is walking through your space. So we'll start with one room. What, pick the room that you're in the most and do a little checklist for yourself. Look at all the things that could represent water, fire, earth, and air. If you're not sure what we're talking about, what that can be, I'm gonna do a little bit of deeper explanation of what each thing is. But if you have spaces in your home or in your room that are overly one element rather than another, that can definitely mess up some of the energy. And it's a really easy fix, but it's like taking, taking a little checklist. For instance, and this is going to sound really stupid, but when I used to teach, I was given a checklist for my classroom. Before I opened the classroom, what, are the, what is the furniture in the classroom? What is the condition it's in? What are the supplies that are here? And I would have to go through the whole checklist at the beginning of the year and then at the end of the year and give evidence that, yep, we still have this, we still have that, we still have this, this was replaced, why it was replaced, and that kind of thing. It's sort of like that, taking an inventory of your space. Do you have to look through every single thing in your room no, no, you really don't. Don't get overwhelmed by it. But this is a little exercise to help create some balance. Maybe do this once a year or twice a year. 
maybe do it like in the spring and in the fall or in the summer and in the winter or whatever. You figure out what works best for you. There's no right or wrong here. So how do you check for the elemental balance? How do you check to make sure? So we start with one room. Just start with one room, but go through your whole house when you're ready. Start with one room and really just look around and take an inventory. So let's talk about that. Earth, plants, crystals, stones, and anything that has to do with grounding, grounding the elements. So it could also be herbs or potpourri or, yes, flowers. Flowers are a plant, but flowers, something of that nature. Air would be windows, open spaces, fresh air, fans, things that move the air around. It could be incense. Some people consider incense and air. People consider feathers as air. So if you have some feathers that you've collected for some reason, that's air things as well. Fire would be candles, a fireplace, artwork that depicts fire. And this applies for everything. So artwork that depicts earth. I have a painting and I will flip this around and show you guys in one second. I have one that is of the forest. And then right next to it, I have one that is of the ocean, but it's the sun and it's a sunset. So that has both fire and water elements to it. Water, looking for things like water fountains, aquariums, and mirrors. Mirrors is another one. Anything that has to do with fluid, any kind of fluid, an example of that could be a humidifier. A diffuser if you're diffusing water and essential oils there's all different types of stuff glass I would consider something that is glass as air because it has to have to get glass to where it is it has to be blown air blown it could be air it could be fire I don't really consider it fire not really because it's it's done with the fire part of it but it is something that glass needs to be blown out in order for it to become the shape that it is. So I consider glass air. You need to do what works for you. I'd love to hear. I know I'm not covering every single thing. This is just a quick little checklist. There's definitely more. You can do your own research. Google online. What is earth elements decorations for a home? Something like that. Google something like that and do your own research. But that's where you want to start. You want to start to make sure. So if you have five elements that are fire and only two that are air, you're going to want to maybe move some of that stuff that's fire into a different space or maybe bring in more air stuff so that that is more balanced. All right. That's pretty much the entire thing. I am going to flip the camera around right now just so you can see the paintings that I'm talking about. As you can see, the painting that's over here, that one has water, it actually has plants, and it has the sun. And then this one just has earth and plants. Now as I'm sitting here and talking to you about this, you might be looking at the stuff behind me taking inventory. This is earth. Candles are fire. Fireplace is fire. I have a bunch of crystals up here that you probably can't see. That is earth. This has incense. That is air. Really depends on what you're doing in your space, okay? Work for yourself. Work it, make it work. And don't get, don't overwhelm yourself. I'm not saying you have to rip your entire house apart. This is just a fun, introductive way to make your home feel a little bit more balanced and a little bit less chaotic feeling when it comes to the elements anyway. Another example for air would be a wind chime because wind chimes blow when the air moves. If you find there's too many of one element in a certain area, just move it. Move it into a different area of your space. I was trying to say a different word and I can't, I keep getting tongue tied so I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Bloopers. Mm -hmm. Bloopers. By the way, if you ever want to catch bloopers, I am saving stuff and doing bloopers. They're going to be posted on the membership group. So if you're wanting to check, check behind the scenes things, you may want to check that out. 
that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you understand the elements a little bit better in your space and how to create something that's a bit more balanced in your space for a harmony, peaceful atmosphere and energy. You don't have to do this. It's just an idea. It's something that I thought was fun. If you have any questions about the four elements or how to balance them, feel free to leave comments below. I may or may not have time to answer you, but we have a whole community here, so somebody should hopefully answer you if I don't get to it. I will see you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye. We are out of time.